Hello all, welcome back. I'm Ivan. This is my home allotment veggie beds. Right, I've decided today that I was going to give these boxes a go, but it's very damp out here, yeah? So, I don't know. I'm, I might find something else to do, yeah? But as you can see, it's quite damp. So, yeah, I'll find something to do. I don't know quite what yet. But I decided in a bit, I might give that a go, try and strengthen that up today. But I wanted to give them boxes a go, but the wood's very wet, so I don't think I'm going to be able to cut it. Right, I'll get back to you when I decide what I'm doing. Cheers. I have put the uh, clover seed on this bed by the polytunnel where it's going to go, yeah. But I haven't raked it in yet, so I'll do that in a sec. Right, this is a tub where I was putting all the big lumps from the compost yeah so I'm just going to put all of them in there yeah then I'll put them in with my old well my compost from last year yeah I'll just put it on top of there and it'll act like an activator right so that's going to go in that bin which is the bin I've started filling up this year it is quite wet out here, yeah, so I'm not really going to do a lot. But I think I'm going to take this other part of this greenhouse apart, yeah, so I can stack it like this. So it's, well, sort of half neat and half not, but if you know what I mean. So I'm probably going to take the rest of the side of that greenhouse apart, yeah. So I'll catch you in a bit. Right, I've just been to pick up a few more bags of building sand, yeah, but hopefully... I've got enough there now, yeah. I was going to use that post creep, but I think that'll be set too quick and it won't give me a chance to get it square. So I'm just going to use a cement and building sand, yeah. So that give me a little bit of a wiggle room to get it square and all that lot, yeah. Right, I'm also going to measure these out, put some pegs in so I know where the Pono Tunnel legs are, yeah, so I can make my boxes in more or less the right place. Because I'm going to give myself a little bit of a wiggle room, yeah. So, yeah, I'm probably just going to do that one side, yeah. But there is, like, hardcore and stuff underneath there, so it is going to be quite a job to get it out. But, hey, I'll probably use the hardcore in the boxes as well, yeah. So, we'll see how we go, and I'll, I'll show you after. There you go. All the pony tunnel legs where I need to build my boxes where I'm going to cement it in. I pegged in, yeah. I decided to do both sides, yeah. So it fits just about inside there, yeah. So that's 200 wide, yeah. So yeah, I just need to build the boxes and stuff. But there is hardcore in the bottom of that, so I'm probably going to get some of that out and put it inside the boxes so it's got like hardcore in the boxes as well. Right, I've decided that I'm going to do some overwintering peas. But this is the only tray that I've got really that I can fit my root trainer in that I'm going to use. So, all I'm going to do is get a piece of old plastic like this. I'm going to cut it out to shape. And then that should be my watering tray, yeah? But I'll get back to you when I've done this. Right, there you go. That's the plastic out and ready yeah so I'll just put my root trainer in there just make sure that the plastic is actually up so the water doesn't leak out there you go that'll do this is my, I, I sifted this compost just a, well, a little while ago, yeah. So it's my own compost, so we'll see what happens, see if we actually get any growth out of it or not. I haven't put a, put anything in with it, yeah. So basically it's just my compost that I've sifted from the garden. All right, all I'm going to do is dip, 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 dip. And these are my peas. So I'm just going to put like two in per station, yeah? So I'll get on with this. <laughs>
to do now is just top it up with some of my compost. I'll probably give it a good water in a minute, off camera obviously. Trying to be a little bit careful because I'm indoors. It's only me that I get in trouble, so I ain't got missus to rope out. Oh, Sugar, I need to say a swear word there. I've got a bit of mess to clear up, but hey, never mind, it's only me, isn't it? There you go, that'll do. The label and the date on it as well. So, I don't know whether these have come to anything or not, but hey, I'll give it a go, see what happens, yeah? But that's going to be it for this week. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye! Oh, thanks for the comments, subs and likes, yeah? See you later, bye. Right, I have watered them, yeah? I've put the um, cover on the top as well, yeah? But it's on my windowsill and it's got really dark outside all of a sudden. So, yeah, it's on the windowsill now, yeah? So, yeah, I'll catch you later. Cheers, bye.